Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about termination steps and the types of things that happen during termination steps in radical mechanism. Uh, a termination step is any kind of step that leads to the net reduction in number of radicals. Um, Okay, so that means you have two radicals that go to zero radicals or something like that. Um, here. Most commonly, not with three M's, most commonly we are, you know, we're talking about coupling or re combination, whatever you want to call that step. Uh, and so, you know, we have like in, a, in some kind of example, uh, a reaction chlorine. Uh, radical, methyl radical. If these two things bump into each other and form a new sigma bond as part of a reaction, This can be a termination step. Uh, reason why termination steps are a big deal that, is that you know termination steps. Now that we have fewer radicals, termination steps prevent further reaction. So. We're, you know, if, if the methyl radical and the chlorine radical are integral in the propagation steps for doing important things, any step that leads to them combining uh, to form something that's not a radical uh, is kind of counterproductive as far as the radical mechanism goes. Now, occasionally a termination step produces the desired product, uh, but sometimes... Sometimes termination events lead to byproducts, uh, and sometimes you know termination leads to other kinds of other kinds of un undesired outcomes. Uh, in the world of radical polymerization, um, elimination is the most common termination step actually showed an example of how that worked in the uh, video on elimination, but here, it's, here it is again. Uh, if you have your, uh, if you have uh, some example molecule, and here we are at the, the end of, uh, of a chain. I don't like where that radical is. I want the radical to look more. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I want the radical to look like this. Um, then I'm going to draw in the hydrogens at this position because they're important. I don't need the hydrogens here. Uh, you know, if this R group represents some long polymer chain, uh, and I've got a video coming up on polymer uh, radical polymerization, so we'll get a little bit more in detail. Uh, and then I've got another one, and these two bump into each other. Well, this is actually a chain termination event for both chains. One chain abstracts a hydrogen from the other, and then that leads to an elimination event on the second chain. So I actually want to, well, let me draw the products here. The, the chain on the top here becomes a elimination outcome, uh, an alkene at the end, and the chain on the bottom. And we end up with a methyl group there at the end instead of the radical. And so actually I want to go up here and amend my statement here. Uh, is that these, are, these are both abstraction slash elimination events. 
right? It's abstraction on one chain uh, and elimination uh, to the other. And, and again, uh, I've got a video coming up on radical polymerization that will show how this plays out in the real case. In the next video, I'm going to do uh, an example using radical halogenation of methane. And then in the following video, I'm going to do another example using the anti-Markovnikov hydrohalogenation of an alkene. And then following that, I'm going to do radical, uh, radical polymerization as one final example. Thank you for watching.